after Vishwajit Rane's objection on draft regional plan, task force members demand restructuring of entire process. Why are ministers opposing their own government on regional plan? Ramados visit Kankon Shah's 13 crore rupees for development of rural health care. And Don Bosco claims silver at nationals. Now the news in detail. After Vishwajit Rane's opposition to the draft regional plan 2021, prominent member of task force Dean De Cruz have asked for review of the task force as the process of reaching out to people with draft plan have failed. We've asked the government that this should be uh, done. We, they should set up a little office like where we had with the Marquinez Palace thing where this can happen, where people can come over there with their difficulties of uh, uh, whatever queries they have on planning, whatever difficulties and to sort of put their, uh, their aspirations on paper. Is government ready for that? Uh, we've sent a letter, we, uh, I, we got a message that yes, they're, they're willing to, to reset up this. De Cruz further said that there are many defects in plan and can be rectified only at the village level. Is what has been provided to us as a task force by the government, by whatever land survey department, by PWD, by irrigation. So there are a lot of errors that we noticed on the plan itself, the overlaying and matching of all these things, there are a lot of defects in the plan. Now it's only at ground level, at village level, can you actually rectify it. It's very difficult for just one town planning department to actually prepare and coordinate all these things. So at village level, it's something that you can do, you can correct, you know exactly where your boundaries are, you know your ground reality, and it has to be corrected at this level itself. You know. When asked about informing the panchayat, he said that it's government duty to involve all the panchayat. He added that till now there is no technical help provided to the villagers. You are supposed to direct uh, Panchaya to do all these things? The government really through whatever director Panchaya is supposed to you know, get the Panchaya involved. The government I think needs to put aside some funds so that you know, surveyors can be appointed to help. Because right now there is no technical help for the villagers. A lot of very technical work, surveying the thing assessing, pinpointing, you know, going around understanding what the requirements of the village are in terms of infrastructure, whether it's water, power, you know, drainage, anything, all that needs to be understood, studied and mapped, you know, so you know what, what the village really needs in terms of facilities and infrastructure. With Laukik Silkar, this is Yashwan Parak for Prudent Media. When Health Minister Vishwajit Rane opposed the draft regional plan 2021, let's see how the concerned people reacted to Junior Rane's statement. Yeah, I think MLAs are scared of losing their power now to the people because it's the planning should come from the people and not from the top down, from the MLA deciding what is best for his village or something. The real needs of the people will be put by the people themselves and the MLAs need to respond to that. MLAs, after all, are just policy makers. They should not be interfering in... in direct uh, interpretation and planning issues. Yeah. That's a statement that he has made. He'll have to explain to, well, I have explained to you what the regional plan is all about and this is the way that it is thing. As I said, it's uncalled for to say that the task force members are outsiders, which they're not. They're very much uh, from within. And uh, indeed, uh, like what he has said, that the people of Sattari should decide how Sattari should develop is exactly what the task force is saying, is exactly what the, the regional plan is saying. The people of Sattari must decide what is good for Sattari. As far as GBA is concerned, uh, we, we see the government has come with the RP and has invited suggestions and objections. On GBA's part, though we were uh, of the opinion that the plan should be formulated by a uh, you know uh, from the panchayat upwards okay and uh, because we believe in that process we are asking the people to give their comments and suggestions now if the government is not going to accept people's comments and suggestions uh, you know which is uh, based on the rp then why are the people made to go through this whole process with Laukik Silkar, this is Yashwan Parak for Prudent Media. The Central Health Minister, Ambumani Ramados, announced that Goa will get 13 crore under National Rural Scheme. He briefed media on his visit to Kankon Health Centre. Here is a report. 
Union Health Minister Ambubani Ramados visited Kankon Health Center on Tuesday. State Health Family Welfare Minister Prabhakar Lakshmi was also present along with Health Director Dr. Rajnanda Desai, Health Officer at Kankon V. R. Murili Dharan, Deputy Director of Health Dr. Deepak Kabadi. Ambumani Ramados informed more about National Rural Scheme and gifted Goa with 13 crores for development of rural health. 21 crores has been allocated and approximately I think about uh, 30 crores has been released and out of which nearly about 12 to 13 crores has been spent. This financial year we have allocated about 13 crores under the National Rural Health Mission for Goa. This is especially for the rural areas, having health workers, upgradation in the centers, having more facilities, mobile medical units and all in, uh, for Goa. Lok Sabha Member of Parliament L.K. Chaturvedi said that central government is giving more trust on health sector. A reporter at Kankon Prasad Pagi. Barely after a month of hosting a successful Kandoli ban, River Princess Satao Manch has decided to intensify the agitation in coming days against government's failure to remove the grounded ship. They have not set any deadlines or disclosed the modus of agitation. But people claim that they have support of neighboring villagers too. If the government goes on dilly dallying, the people of Kandoli will intensify the agitation and will not stop till the river princess is removed. These were the words of convener of river princess Hatao Manch Fermino Fernandez. This was a clear cut message to all institutions who are dealing with the removal of grounded vessel. On December 17th, Munch had successfully organized a successful burn in the village with blocking the roads from three different locations. People are not happy with Chief Minister Digambar Kamath as they say that Am Admin's Chief Minister has not kept his promise of removing the ship. At the briefing held in Panji, members revealed documents received from NIO and Water Resources Department which claims that grounded vessel is responsible for coastline erosion at Shinkari and Kanduli. People say this time their agitation will be big as they have support of villagers of Kalangut and Nerul and they will definitely sustain the agitation till River Princess leaves the shore. In Panji, this is Rakesh Kandolkar for Prudent Media. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned.